What's up guys? Welcome to another Ben and Tanae video. Today it's just me because I'll be doing a beauty inspiration video of some sort. I'm gonna be talking about one of my favorite subjects, nails. So I'm happy to report that I'm now working with Lisa's Dip Pit. So Lisa sent me a little package. Um, so this is going to be her, her starter kit. So in the starter kit, if you were to purchase one, you would get three customized colors. You would get the base coat, the activator, and the top coat. And you will get some uh, nail tools like a cuticle pusher, nail file, a brush, stuff like that. So I encourage you to go over there and look at what she has. She has other things other than the starter kit. She has dip powder for your nails. If you don't do your nails, then she has scrubs and oils and butters, all types of stuff. Just very, very nice things. So head over to Lisa's Nail Dip Pit, okay? And check it out. But for right now, I'm gonna get to opening this package. I'm very, very excited about it. So she sent me this package. Um, so I'm doing an unboxing here, as you can tell from the title of this video. Let's see what goodies we got. First off, I just wanna say that the pink packaging is super cute. Okay, this is cute. So it comes in this little pouch here. This is what you'll get if you get the starter kit online. Your colors will most likely be different than mine depending on how you customize it. So, super cute, more pink. <laughs> um, you get this card here that has all her information. It has the website, it has her Facebook, um, name also she just got on instagram so make sure you follow her there too this bag is super super cute i love the high what's this called what's this called then like how holographic type that's all of it <laughs> so it's super super cute so um it has her little emblem at the front hopefully y'all can hopefully ben will be able to zoom in but it's very, very cute. It says Lisa's Dip Pit. So let's open it up. So first thing, I see a nail buffer. You get a cute little nail buffer. Uh, you get a nail file. This one is 100 to 180 grit. So this is, that's nice. Very nice. Feels good. Um, get this cute, super, super cute little brush here. And it does say Lisa's Nail Dip Pit on here. Super cute. That's for brushing off the powder when you do your um, dipping. This is really cute. It has like little crystals in it and stars. Definitely cute. I just got some brushes that are like this size and this fluffy. So I already know I'm gonna like it because um, it's so soft. It's perfect. All right, now I'm getting to the good stuff her liquids. So like I said, you'll get an activator, a base coat, and a top coat. Okay, so it's basically step two, three, and four um, that you, basically your essentials for starting to do dip nails. So I can't wait to try these out because I pretty much have stuck to the same uh, liquids when it comes to dip powder. So I'm pretty excited to try these. Now the good, good good part is the colors. Let's see what dip colors that she sent me. Okay, so the first color says Aurora Thermal. Uh, it's a like a purpley color. So I'll be doing some swatches too so y'all can see exactly what they'll look like on your nails. So this one, um, it looks like a purpley color. It looks like there's little teeny glitters in it. Super, super cute. Just I'm, I'm, I keep shaking it because I'm trying to see the consistency here. I can see that the, the powder is very fine, which is good. That's a good sign. My second color, I have neon purple. Yeah, this is pretty. That's a pretty color. And just like the other one, the power, I can see how fine the powder is by shaking it. Very excited to try this. I'll be swatching so you can see what the color is really looking like. Okay, now here's a glitter. This is my last color. It's called Blurple. <laughs> so I guess it's like blue and purple. See, I can see little blue specks in here, glitter specks. And this one is still fine. Even though it's a glitter, it's very fine. Um, and yeah, it's very, very pretty. The glitter is very, very pretty. I can see like kind of greenish blue specks in the glitter. So super, super cute. And of course, uh, oh, I missed something. 
<laughs> the cuticle pusher. It's a silver one. Very, very nice. Yeah, this is cute. Let me see. Oh, it says Lisa's nail dip tint on here too. That's super cute. Yeah, this is nice. So on this end, you, you use that to push your cuticles back. Um, I've never used this part. This is like a scraper. Um, very, very nice. I've never had a, a, a metal cuticle pusher, so this is nice to have. This is pretty good quality. Very, very nice. And now my bag's empty. That's everything now. So now I'm about to get into swatching these. As I swatch, I'll be using the liquids too and let you know how I feel about the liquids. All right, guys, so you're at a different angle here. I'm about to do some swatches. I have my little swatch uh, pieces here, the little fake nails. Um, so of course you start with your dip coat. Uh, your, Of course you start with your base coat. This is here, this is step two. And I'm going to start with neon purple. So this is the one, this doesn't have any glitter or anything, it's just a solid color. Oh look, it has like a protective seal. Not all of the dips I have have this protective seal part. This is pretty good for when you're shipping so it doesn't go everywhere. I'm gonna give it a quick stir. I don't know if y'all can see how fine this powder is. It's like great consistency here. Okay, give it a quick stir. And I'm gonna start with the base coat. Like I said, this is pretty much my first time using something different than the product that I usually use for liquids. Very, very smooth, which is good. So on her website, it says that the, the liquids are self-leveling, which is good, which means I shouldn't have to do a whole bunch of buffing to make it uh, even. And I can see that the lines are going away, so it is um, evening out there, so that's nice. And this is at the point where I would push it. I want to be careful because I don't want to mess up anything. But so far, that's pretty nice. Now I'm going to do a second coat here. Okay, after uh, the two coats, I'm going to go ahead and activate that. This makes it hard, or it should make it hard. So use plenty of that because you don't want to mess it up whenever you buff or anything like that. And I am going to do a buff test just to see how good this activator is. All right, so I did the activator here and now I'm going to buff it a little bit just to make sure that this activator is legit, okay? So the fact that you can hear that buffing sound is a good sign, meaning that this is completely hard now, yeah, which is good. Perfect. All right, now I'm going to use the step four, the top coat. I can already see that it's super shiny. Can y'all see that shine? That's only one coat. I usually do two coats. But for my samples, I'll go ahead and do one coat of top coat. It's very, very shiny, very nice. Uh, pro tip, when you're finished putting on your top coat after, after the activator, make sure you wipe off your brush before you put it back into the container because you don't want to contaminate it with activator. That's how your brush gets hard. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe the excess off so I don't contaminate anything and stick it back in there. So here is what this is looking like so far. So the first one I tried is the neon purple color. Um, Y'all saw me actually physically dip that one. It's a beautiful color. Two coats will be fine to um, to work with that. So you can basically do two coats of this and be fine. Three coats will be really, really nice, make it nice and solid, but two coats work fine on the sample. Um, the color is gorgeous. Um, I feel like it's kind of neon, but it's kind of, it's kind of a light neon. So it's not like a bright purple, but it's, it's a very pretty color. I think it will look great on my skin tone. 
The second color I tried was Aurora Thermo. I hope I'm saying that right. It's like the Princess Aurora, um, <laughs> you know, from, from the, one of the Disney princesses. I think it was Sleeping Beauty, uh, Aurora. Anyway, uh, with Thermal, with Aurora Thermal, I probably would do three coats. I mean, it looks nice, uh, but you can kind of see through it. If you're looking for that look, I think it does look nice how I did it. I only did two coats and it, it does look nice. It probably would look nice if you have your natural nails um, and not a tip because you may be able to see that tip line. But um, other than that, it's a very, very pretty color. Uh, I probably would do three coats if you have a tip. If you don't have a tip and you just wanna kinda have your natural nails shining through, then this is very, very nice with just two coats. But the color is gorgeous. I don't have a color like this at all, so I'm very, very excited about this one. You can kind of see the little glitter specks in there. Very, very pretty. And the last color I got is Blurple. So this is the, the full out glitter. Um, this one is it's very, very pretty. I did two coats of this one too. Uh, you can see those bluish, greenish specks of glitter in there. Very, very pretty. You can also see the purple shining through the back. So I can definitely see why she named it purple <laughs> because you see all of the colors. Um, even the green in there is like randomly shining through. It's very, very pretty. I do not have a color like this. So I am definitely excited to add this into my collection. All right, guys, here are my final thoughts on these items from Lisa's Nail Dip Pet. First off, I just want to say that the colors are gorgeous. Um, she actually picked the colors for me. Uh, I'll be receiving colors every month. Um, so this is my first kit and I am pleasantly surprised and I'm actually very pleased with the color selection, consistency of the powder itself. And I actually do like the liquids. So like I said, this is, I haven't used many different liquids. Um, so it was nice and refreshing to actually try something that was pretty nice. Uh, I haven't found anything I don't like about the products. I will say that um, the smell is a little strong, but uh, it doesn't bother me because I've been doing my nails for a very long time. So that doesn't bother me. Um, but like I said, if you're not into dip nails or you don't really do your nails or you have other people do your nails, she does have other products. So she has scrubs, oils, body butters, anything your heart can desire. She also can do custom scents. So if you see, uh, if you don't see a scent online that you want, uh, she may be able to customize that for you. So head over to Lisa's nailditpit.com and check out some of her items. Make sure you use the code TAN10, T-A-N-10, to get you a little discount off, you know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you check out Lisa's Nail Dip Pit. Hey guys, also make sure you follow my nail page on Instagram, which is dipnails underscore by nay. So Ben should put it there. He'll also put the website to Lisa's Nail Dip Pit and all of her uh, places that you can find her and her items. So you guys, Make sure you check it out and just check out the website. See if you have any, if there's anything on there that you'll like. I'll be back. I'll also be doing a set with some of these colors, if not all of them, because I think they do go all well together, but we'll see what I do. Um, I'll be doing a set soon, so make sure you stay tuned with me actually trying these on my actual nails. So uh, make sure you stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Bye.